Uh, no! <laughs> this is crazy. Don't, I, listen, if anybody catches us down here, we'll keep it. They are not going to think that you spent the night. Yes, They're just going to think are. that you came Stop to it. check on James. Stop Stop it. James you did last night. James's fever went down with over-counter medication. James is fine. And yet, you didn't leave. Hmm. Mm, no, I didn't. <laughs> Gotta go. You gotta go. You know, <laughs> um, <laughs> Alan is going to be away on business for at least another day. Yes, but Mel isn't, so I have to go home now. Rick. Okay. Hey. hey, I didn't know you'd still be here. Is James okay? <clears throat> James is fine. Yeah, why? I have a surprise for you. Come on in. <clears throat> this has gone on long enough. when we're apart. I hate leaving you, but I think I have to right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Alan's little watchdog show up any minute and blow our cover. Yeah. It's pretty risky of you to come over here. <laughs> Look at you! You like it! You like the sneaking around and the danger. It makes everything a little hotter, don't you think? Yeah. like when we first got together mm -hmm. we had to keep it from our families and stolen kisses and other stuff Ooh. you tammy winslow are very bad girl and you jonathan randall are a very good teacher Hello, Lizzie. Did you lose your dog? No. Roxy is back home in her bed. No, no, I, I meant your other dog, your husband. Did he slip his leash and wander off to play in someone else's yard? I am so sorry to disappoint you, Dr. Baker, but Jonathan is back home waiting for me to come back with our breakfast. We're gonna have it in bed. Here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, so you can report back to Granddad? Mm -hmm. Croissants and sticky buns. You know, that looks awfully heavy. Let me carry it back to the hotel for you. <laughs> Someone in heavy. your condition shouldn't be carrying heavy things like this. Expectant moms can never be too careful. Come this way. don't look so good. Rough night on the town these last few nights? Word travels fast. How bad is it? Well, basically, I'm trying to figure out if I'm hungover or if I'm just still flat out drunk.
Hey, um, what a nice surprise, sweetheart. I wasn't expecting you to be here. You know what, um, Rick? This is between me, Beth, and Alan. You do your job, I'll do mine. Your, your, your job? As Lizzie and Jonathan's attorney. What did you think I meant? No, nothing, nothing. I, um, <clears throat> I'm just a little fuzzy. I was, I was up all night with James. Oh, is he doing better? Yes, yes, he is, thanks to your husband's expert care. Um, what can I do for you? Can I get you some coffee? No, no. Where's Alan? Alan is out of town. Is there something I can do for you? Yes, you can give this to your husband. It's a cease and desist order. His spy, Dr. Baker, is getting one, too. They are through harassing my clients, okay? Do you realize what Alan's been up to? Yes, yes, I have a pretty good idea. And, and I don't approve, but you know how he is. Well, he's making it very difficult for Lizzie and Jonathan. It's very hard for, for two people to have a marriage without somebody stepping in between them purposely. Uh, yes, yes, I couldn't agree more. And uh, that's why I've invited Jonathan and Lizzie over for brunch as a way of... Uh, Welcoming him into the fold. And Mel, why don't you stay too, okay? And and you too, Rick. I mean, you're both practically family. Don't you think that's a good idea, Beth? <laughs> Thank you. You can go now. Well, if I brought it this far, I might as well take it right on in. <laughs> You've really done enough. No. Thank you. I insist. Besides, this will give me a chance to say hi to your husband. And get his day off to a rotten start? I don't think so. Besides, Jonathan said that he was going to take Roxy for a walk. <gasps> there goes that theory. Open the door, Lizzie. Okay, but I'm warning you. Um, uh, Jonathan could have gone out for a newspaper or even gone for a run. He always exercises. Honey, pumpkin, is that hey. you? Mm -hmm. Oh, goody, you brought breakfast. We were starving. Oh. <laughs> yeah, what's up, Doc? Moonlighting as a bellhop. Is Alan not paying you enough money? Mm -hmm. You're going to screw up, Randall. It's just a matter of time before I get proof for the judge that this marriage is a sham. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Roxy? Mm -hmm. oh. See you later. Yeah. Yo, oh, how great were you? How great was he, Roxy? How well, great was he? That's me. <laughs> I'm great. Oh, I, I didn't think that you were going to make it back from Tammy's on time. That's so dangerous, by the way. Yeah, no drama. I'm, uh, I'm too slick for Dr. B, but I'll <laughs> deliver a message to your grandfather. I know another way you can deliver a message to my granddad. Come with me to the mansion for brunch today. I can't. I'm meeting up with Tammy. Yeah, listen. My mom invited us. My grandmother and my Aunt Alex are going to be there. If we can put on a good show for them, we might be able to get them on our side. Then if they can get to Granddad, he'll call off Dr. Baker, and you and Tammy won't have to sneak around anymore. Double butter? Tammy, what are you, what are you doing here? Shh. Same thing you are. So, popcorn the movie. Does it help? Does what help? Does all this help you forget about how much you miss a certain guy? For a little while. Let me get you. You know, down. you know what? I really don't. I don't need your help. Thank you. Sure you don't. I'm fine. Is that uh, HB's hangover remedy? Did you remember to put the Worcestershire sauce in it? <laughs> huh. Oh, knew it. Why are you here? Oh, I'm sorry. I, uh, I should have called first. Do you have company? You mean is Cassie here? I mean, that's what you really want to know, right? Is she? No, she's not. I told you. <clears throat> We decided not to pursue whatever it was we had. Oh. Why? Reva, why are you here? Hey, you know what? Don't take this out on me. Hey, fact, you know you what? Too much to drink. When I, when I took you to the hospital after I found you at the top of the lighthouse, passed out, you made it clear to me that your health is none of my business. Well, ditto. 
Answer the question. I didn't know you'd be here. I came by to pick up a few things, and later I'll pick up more because I'm, I'm moving out. You know, this is your house too. I mean, if you want it, you can. We can work that out. Oh man, no, that's okay because I won't be here long. Oh, really? Where are you going? Just meant that. You know, I'm, I've already got someplace else. Where? Well, right now at the Beacon. Alone? Oh, I'm sorry. Ask a stupid question. You're moving in with Billy, aren't you? You know, uh, you're not going to be able to fit very much stuff in Billy's room. Do you mind if I take this? Because I, I always kind of liked it, and you never really found much use for it. So is that a yes? Are you moving in with Billy? Change is good to move on with life. It's healthy. You know, maybe that's always been our problem. We always held on too tight. Never really knew when to let go. It doesn't seem to be a problem for you anymore. It doesn't seem to be a problem for you either. But that's... I'm glad. I mean, it, it makes me happy, Joshua. I mean, because... It's amazing how both of us have been able to embrace the change. You have your hospital project, and I have... Billy. You have Billy. You know what, actually, uh... <clears throat> why don't the two of you move in here, you know? There's only one of me. Well, that could change. Besides, this is your family's home. You work very hard to move it here from Oklahoma. Now for you, Reva. I moved the house here for you. I thought it could be a dream that we would share together. Well, dreams change. People move on. Like I said, you know, you could find another hot mama to move in here with you. Someone to fluff your pillows for you and make you bacon and eggs in the morning. Someone to love you the way you deserve to be loved. Oh, you gotta love Hollywood. They smile, they kiss, the end, the credits roll. <sighs> you wanna stay for the next one? I think I've had enough estrogen for one day. Come on, it had a happy ending. Hey, we will too, you know. Tammy, how, how do you stay so upbeat? Your boyfriend just married someone else. Someone who is carrying his child, no less. It's not a real marriage. Still. Mom. I know that Jonathan loves me. And I believe in him, and I believe in what we have. Mm. So I'm okay. I used to believe. Till the weight of the world crushed me. <laughs> you are so old. Mom, if you're meant to be with Uncle Josh, you will be. Is that what keeps a smile on your face? You just have that much hope? That and sneaking visits here and there with you-know-who. In fact, later. Delicious. Here Cheers, come the newlyweds! Oh. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. Hello, darling. Oh, Hello. beautiful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Jonathan? Auntie Alex. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is that okay if I call you that? So cute. If it'll keep you from calling me anything worse. <laughs> Nana! Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, okay. No. Lillian okay. will be just okay, fine. Okay, Lillian. We just want you guys to know that we're really excited to be here, and we know that you're putting in an effort, and we really appreciate it. Mm. Right, Jonathan? Yes, yes. Just when you thought this family couldn't get any more screwed up. <laughs> All right? Right? Yeah, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Seriously, I want you guys to know I am totally committed to making sure that Lizzie and our kid are both as happy as they possibly can be. <sighs> That's lovely. How long did you rehearse that, mm -hmm. dear? Well, uh, I'll tell you if you give me one of those. Oh, yeah. Extra spicy. Oh, how'd you know? Okay, <laughs> Mom! Go <laughs> okay, finish. What is cook making for us today? Uh, uh, what? Mom, what is 
What? Nothing. It's, it's just there's something about him that reminds me of Lou Jack. <laughs> Mel, are you going to have brunch with us? No, sorry. I just came by to drop off some paperwork. The cease and desist order that we talked about? Oh, yeah. uh, good. Dr. Mm -hmm. Baker followed us the whole way home from Main Street. Well, he's not supposed to be in the same room with you, so if you guys see him near you, just either of you, please, just call me or contact the police directly, okay? Now, please stay for brunch. Lillian, I would love to, but I have to meet with a new client. I can't stay either. Why not, Dr. Rick? Um, I got some paperwork to catch up on. No, you have to stay. We need another guy around for Jonathan will be all <laughs> ganged up on. Yeah. Come on, please, especially with Dad not being here. I really want you to stay. Please. You should, Rick. Honey, can I talk to you for a second? Do you uh, really have to go someplace, or is that just an excuse? Because if you don't have any plans, I'd love to take you out to get a bite to eat. I do have to work, Rick, but I'm free for dinner tonight. You could do dinner? Well, that's, that's great, honey. Yeah, it's, it's just dinner, Rick. Well, it's just dinner, but it's a start. To start. Thanks. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye, Mel. See ya. Bye, Mel. Bye. Uh, Mel can't stay. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, not. Well, Goody. More bloody marys for the rest of us. <laughs> <laughs> All right. A little virgin for you, darling. <laughs> Tad late, but. <laughs> anyway. A toast. A toast to the newlyweds. Mm. Now. Whatever other differences we may have in this room, I think we all agree that all we want for Liz's baby is health, happiness, and to be loved. And blonde hair. Blue eyes. <laughs> <laughs> and I have another cheers. I have another cheers to happy couples everywhere, especially the ones that no one approves of. Cheers. 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 <laughs> uh, Jonathan, could you help me with something for a minute? Yeah, I'll be happy to. I'm just trying to be a good little Spalding mother. You call me that again and I will slap you across the face. Now, mm -hmm. I have kept up my end of the bargain. I have done everything to support you and Lizzie, including organizing this old get-together in there. So lay off the wisecracks about... What? Oh, you mean about you and the doctor oh. getting it on? Look, could you... Shh. Stop it. Look, if you think that little get-together brunch in there is what I want you to do for me, if people sit around and pretend we What's like it, you, oh, you are crazy. You are crazy. You're gonna have to do a lot more than that for me to keep your secret. Yeah. Crystal Chappelle, Inside the Light. I like old fashioned soap stories. I like stories about people fall in love, get their feelings hurt, their hearts broken. Um, just simple, clear stories about people. See Olivia, Wednesday, September 20th, Inside the Light. You just threaten me. Uh, I just take a little page out of the Spalding playbook. I have put myself on the line for you. I have put my marriage at risk. Oh, yeah, it was such a strong marriage to begin with. I'm glad Alan's okay with you, you know, seeing Dr. Shh. Rick on the side. Please, compared to you and Alan, me and Lizzie are Valentine. Alan and I are none of your business. Just like your unholy alliance with Tammy and my daughter is between the three of you. Now, let's not kid one another. <sighs> I want my daughter happy. And I want you to keep what you know about me and Rick locked up. End of story. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You really care about this guy. This isn't just another roll in the hay for you, is it? Rick makes me happy. And in case you haven't noticed, happiness is in short supply in this household. So that's why you don't want to tell Rick that I know about the affair. Because you think he'll run back to Mel and confess everything. And then you lose your boy toy and your sugar daddy. What do you want? Ooh, I want you to tell Alan to get Dr. Baker out. Oh, great. Okay, fine. I can try. But I doubt he's going to listen to me. No, you will really, really try hard because I do not like that dude following me. Oh, really? Why? Really? You have something to hide? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Hey, 
Hey, you guys, you know the party's going on inside. Oh. Is everything okay? No, it's it's swell, actually. Your mom and I were just getting to uh, know each other a little better. It turns out we see eye to eye on quite a few things. Right, mother? Come on, come on. Hey, could I maybe treat you to a piece of chocolate cake? Oh, I better go. Really? So soon? Yeah, I want to go home and change and do my hair. And you, <laughs> you better watch it with the whole weepy chick flick and chocolate therapy thing, lady, or you're going to end up 10 pounds heavier with swollen eyes. Hey, I think I'd rather be fat and puffy than sneaking around and waiting through the dark of night for a certain someone to climb through my window. Yeah, don't knock it till you've tried it. What, are you saying you actually enjoy this whole cloak and dagger thing with Jonathan? Keeps things exciting. Yeah, honey. But for how long? Every day is a new adventure. Sweetie, wouldn't you rather have somebody who's there for you, someone to come home to, who's always there for you? Jonathan is there for me. Uh-huh. Okay. So where is he now? Ooh, with Lizzie, by chance? He had to go to a family gathering with her for appearances. Don't look at me like that, Mom. He has to make nice with them. If he can get Beth and the others on his side, then maybe Alan will leave us alone. Mm-hmm. Of course, I wish it was just Jonathan and me with no Lizzie, no baby. But that's selfish. No, honey, that is not selfish. That's human. Just like it's human for me to want something that's uncomplicated with Josh. But we don't always get what we wish for, do we? I better go. I love you. I love you, too. And, uh, go easy on the triple layer cake, okay? Hold out for the real thing. You know how bizarre it is to uh, hear you try to fix me up with your sister? <laughs> well, I just want you to be happy, Joshua. Hmm. Post Riva. I want you to be with someone who will be good to you. And truly love you. Like Billy is for you. Come on in. It's my moving man. Hey, hey little brother. Whoa. <clears throat> little hair of the dog. Can I say something funny? Oh, hysterical. It's just it's really something, the two of you, you know, acting like uh, everything's fine, nothing's changed. Well, you know, actually, it doesn't have to change. I mean, we're still brothers. You and me, we can still be friends. Not a problem. I mean, why? What do you want to do? You want to keep fighting? You want to keep yelling at each other? Throwing accusations around? It's simple. It's not complicated. Hey, I have an idea. Why don't you uh, fax me over everything that you want, okay? Uh, a list, and I'll have uh, uh, Wanda send it over to you. I, I mean, you're right. Why make things more complicated than they have to be? Yeah, okay. <laughs> we'll just... Uh... Get out of your way here, okay? Great. Bye. You okay? to this <laughs> yes there are some perks in this old mansion i'm sure you've become aware of that <laughs> you probably sort of counted on them hmm, jonathan mom well let's that... stop pussyfooting around we all know why this marriage took place yes for the baby but there has to be more doesn't there jonathan hey there's more we can't all have grand passion like you and mel or you and alan mother <laughs> beth and Alan, Grand Fashion. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not that funny, Alex. What about you, Auntie Alex? When was the last time you got all hot and bothered over well, a boy? Actually, my dear, it wasn't that long ago. Mm. And you, Nana, Nana Lillian, have you ever been struck by lightning and lost all reason and all of your clothes? Whoa! <laughs> I think there's a story there. 
There is a story and you're not going to hear it. <laughs> anyway, it was a long time ago. It was a disaster. A lot of people got hurt, really good people. Well, that is all the more reason that you guys should be supportive of Lizzie and I getting married for the right reasons. Yeah, we don't have any illusions about our marriage. No illusions, sweetheart? Are you sure? Look, we all know how this started. We all know why Lizzie and I got married. But this is no joke. What we have is no joke. It's just as real as every other marriage in this family. No good? No, no. It, it's, it's delicious. I just lost my appetite. You know how hard it was for me to be back at that cabin? <laughs> I'm sure it was. I mean, he's not even with Cassie anymore. I mean, a part of me thought, really thought that once she found him at outskirts drunk, that they would reconnect Josh and Cassie. Wait, wait, wait. wait. I, I thought you were through playing God. Hey, you may not like this, but no matter what you do, the two of them may not get back together. Now, that doesn't set well with you, or if you want to change your mind and tell the truth and tell them how sick you are, now's the time. No, I mean, they, they may not get back together before I die, but maybe my dying will do the trick. You know, they can connect in their grief. Or maybe they won't even grieve because they'll be so mad at me. I have to believe that they'll be sad and, and that they'll miss me. I think a lot of us are going to miss you. But that, that's a long way away. Not that long. And my going will have brought Josh and Cassie together. And they can spend the rest of their lives happy for however long they have. Even though I'm going to hate them for it. You are a complicated woman. Yeah, well, tell me about it. Okay. All right, so you're going to croak, all right? Well, then I think you should grab for all the good stuff. And I'm the one that's going to help you. So we... <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> you know, I've been going on and on making Jonathan crazy with all this talk about the fact that he married Lizzie as an act to fool everyone, and here I'm doing the exact same thing by moving in with you. Oh, doesn't have to be. What? What do you mean? Doesn't have to be an act. Who are you? Press clippings from the ceremony on the Intrepid. So, uh, the story ran in three major markets, as well as locally here in Tulsa, and... We just got a call from one of the largest hospital supply firms in the country. They saw the piece. They're interested in being involved. They want to donate um, nurses' uniforms for the first two years of our operation. What? Okay, so we're not, we're not whatever we were or almost were. Okay, but we're still working together, and uh, this project may have been your dream to begin with, Josh, but it is mine now, too. Okay, so we're going to have to find a way to, to work together without mm. Mm, I can't I can't what? I can't I can't I don't care what Tammy says I don't care what happens in the movies this is you and me and I can't let myself hope because you know what, Hawk was right. Cassie. Everyone is right. Oh. Reva is always going to come first with you. And that's as it should be, because you're her husband, and she's your what wife. What if I could change you, that? You can't change that, okay? That's the whole point. You can't change it. So I need to find some way of working with you without... What do you mean, change that? Um, a few months ago, Reva and I almost got divorced. I mean, we were right on the verge. You um, didn't. You, you went to the lighthouse and you tore up the papers and you Cassie, threw them. Cassie, Cassie. It'll take me about two seconds to get another copy of those papers. To, uh, no, actually, that's not true. It'll take me to the end of business today. What are you saying to me? I called my attorneys earlier. They are messengering over uh, a copy of those papers by later this afternoon. I'll sign them. I see absolutely no reason that Reva won't sign them. I mean, there's a few financial things to work out, make sure nothing major has changed. 
<clears throat> you don't believe me, do you? Uh, of course I believe you. I'm, I'm just... Um... I'll be free, Cassie. I'll be free to be with you. Is that okay? Is that acceptable? <laughs> Is that acceptable? I, um... I... It's a lot to take in. Y yeah. yeah. I understand that. Okay, I'll tell you what. D do this, okay? Go, go back to the office. Here, take these. Take your purse. Do whatever you have to do to close the deal with the uniforms and do everything else that you need to do, okay? Um, and then think about this from time to time. Just think about the fact that at this time tomorrow, I will be a free man, okay? Good? Thank you so much. Appreciate seeing you. But, oh, wait, wait, wait. I forgot this. One more thing. I'm in love with you, just in case you hadn't noticed. I love you too. I know. In. You've been the most wonderful person to me. I mean, all you've done, your support and your help. I don't even know where to start. And I'd be lost without you. But I don't think it would be fair of me wait, to wait, 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 ask wait, you wait, to... wait. I think I should be the judge of fair. Okay, forget that. You've got yourself a roommate, or a, um, a smoke screen, or a beard, or whatever it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it can be more than that, though. We know that. You, you know what I really, really want? I want every day that you have left. I don't see why it should be filled with love. Do you? <laughs> Can't give you something to think about that. <laughs> well, all things considered, I think that went very well, don't you? Uh -huh. I mean, despite Jonathan's faults, I really think that he is flat out determined to do right by Lizzie and her baby. <laughs> You've always liked the bad boys. <laughs> Well, it's quite better than having a penchant for married men. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Oops. Guess that's what you get for being judgmental. I'm not being judgmental. I'm just concerned about my granddaughter. Then why don't you try getting off Lizzie's back? She's clearly determined to make this marriage work in her own way. Well, of course she is. She's madly in love with the boy. And you don't think for a second he's in love with her. But maybe he will someday love her. Oh, Beth, not as long as Tammy Winslow's around. Then let's just get rid of Tammy. What do you say? Hmm? <laughs> this is your daughter and your daughter's baby we're talking about. We shouldn't be taking this so lightly. I'm not taking it lightly. I'm very concerned. But I also know that you can't protect people from being hurt. Jonathan is not Ed Bauer. And Tammy is not Maureen. All right, Beth. I know better than anyone how awful it is to be in love with someone who doesn't love you back. And that is why I don't want to see the next generation do the exact same thing. The Reigns woman and the Bauer man, obviously. I am not just talking about Lizzie. Jonathan, where are you? <sighs> Do not panic. Do not call his cell phone. Remember what you said to mom. Hope. Believe in him. Everything will be okay. Hey, no sign of the dastardly DB. Guess that cease and desist really worked. Now me and Tammy don't have to sneak around. Jonathan, thanks for today. Putting up with my crazy family and being all sweet about the baby. It kind of felt like... Felt like what? Like you really cared. I do. My baby, too. Well, now you deserve a break, so go be with Tammy. Right on. <laughs> oh, um... Thank you. <laughs> Jonathan, honey, I, uh, I, look, I know that 
you are trying to do the right thing, but I can't let you do this. Can't let me do what? What are you Look, I know, about? you just want to ease her pain, and so do I. I'm her friend, too, but look, just trust me. Trust me. The only thing we can do for Tammy is just, you know, let her take her own time to get through this. Right? Right. Right. Yeah. I guess you're right, honey. I guess the best thing is to just leave her alone. Yeah. Come on. Okay. Let's go. Next on Guiding Light. I got a hot date in a dark row with the beautiful blonde. Look, that is your husband down there, and he has his hand and his tongue. Oh, he's consoling Tammy. We had something once, and we don't anymore. It's that simple. Or we could always use the cliche that when you love someone, set them free. I just have to have faith that my life is going to turn out OK. I hear that. I'm a little early. I couldn't wait. Me either. I can still hear you. Where are the others? My God, you don't know who I am. You're trying to trick me. That's part of your plan, isn't it? We just want to see you get well, then. All of you are plotting against me. I will not let you get away with it. Nothing is as it seems, the young and the restless. This has been Guiding Light.